Thank you so much for joining yeah. us. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> the new album is out. Yeah. yeah. Stand back. I don't know how loud this thing gets. What the heck were you thinking when you named it? <laughs> well, you know. I mean, guitar players sometimes are known for being a little bit loud. Just a tad. Just, you know, yeah. But uh, it, so it, it, it was kind of like kind of a joke on that a little bit. But it's mm -hmm. also, uh, uh, you know, this is my third album in the last four years. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it's. It, it's a, it, it ta the the album talks of the the title track is a little bit about you know kind of finding your voice yeah. and so once you kind of you know want to say something you may as well say it loud and uh, you can't really take it back and uh, so it's kind of like you know um, there's some fun tunes on this but there's also some a uh, little bit more serious tunes on there as well and uh, so it's just like hey uh, I'm starting to kind of maybe say some stuff and uh, so stand back, I don't know how loud this is going to get, how much we're going to say, but that, that's kind of the idea of it, you know, so. All right, Tio, Tro, time to get your blues funk on, like this. It's the summertime, this is our uh, summertime funk blues thing for you. Get us to help us out a little bit, there's lots of complicated words, oh, get into it. Chances or a shot in the dark. You never know till you try. You know, play starts with a spark. Snip a coin, roll a dice, look into the future. Could be good, it could be great. You know, it could be super. Come on now, place your bets. We're gonna lose this time. Oh 
representing Atlantic Canada at the International Blues Challenge. Absolutely, yeah. It sounds like that was a lot of fun. That was, I mean, that was, you know, the highlight of my career so far. It was, it was uh, getting the opportunity that, you know, the East Coast Blues Society put on uh, um, a, 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 a show to choose someone to go down and represent Atlantic Canada. And, um, yeah, we heard, like, you know, we got to play three nights on Beale Street, Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, right in the New Daisy Theater, which is not that new, <laughs> but it's a, but it's you know, I mean, there's there's you know, there's so much music that came out of there. Of course, you're at the birthplace of the blues, and you just walk down Beale Street, and there's music in every single bar as you're going, going yeah. BB King's, the Rum Boogie, uh, all of these places. I, I think I mentioned to you before that you know. Before we started, one night a guy said, "You know, that's where that's where Stevie Ray Vaughan used to sit before he went on." Kind of wow. You know? So it's like pretty exciting stuff, you know. So yeah, it was it was amazing, and so a lot of inspiration came out of that. A lot about you know, again, finding your voice, your own style, your own thing, and just but a lot of fun things that happened while we were down there too. Listen for those drums again. So far. <laughs> Thank you. 
that always attracted me I mean probably the first thing that attracted me to the blues outside of you know the guitar mm -hmm. was uh, you know it was a music with a social conscience that that really spoke to um, you know issues and troubles of the day and and, uh, and and you know struggles of all of us and, and one of the things that you know has always struck me is that you know what if we never taught uh, our kids how to hate you know, they don't know how to do that when they're born. You just know how to love, you know. Yeah. And so, uh, you, you know, it's basically the song is about, you know, we're, that's what we're doing. You know, so many, so many of our, our wars and, and prejudices are, are over religion, race, or even, you know, sexual preferences. Yeah. And, you know, if we all just didn't learn how to hate, what, what difference might that make? Yeah. So we've had, so I've actually, you know, we have put up, been very fortunate to be able to put a video out for that. Uh, that's on my site and on YouTube. And uh, we've developed like a little workshop for community groups and that kind of thing. To just kind of start a conversation is like, you know, maybe that's what you believe, but do you ever think about when you started thinking that way, you know, yeah. and, and why, you know, and, you know, how can it be wrong to love each other, you know? So yeah. that's kind of the idea. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's called uh, Killing Each Other, Trying to Get Into Heaven. It's Dan DeWire. This is the video. I'm Terry Parsons. Thanks for watching. Dan, thanks for joining us. Hey, man. Thank you so much.
side of the road Step by some savior just to fight in his head Cause he lives by the code 